おはようございます。ケイさん。おはようございます。元気ですか元気ですか元気ですかそう、ウェルカミング。ウェルカムとアワープログラムディナミス。ゲリングクロスター。オッケー。そう、ウィーウォントアスキンユーアフュークエ
And then also, from Aichi Gakuin, some professional football player. Uh, and my, my first year of the university, it was pretty good because I could play in the team even I'm the first year. And then I score, I think, 11 goals in the first, first, first season in university. So it was a good debut for me. Yes. The second year then? Second, yes, I still play in the, I think, in the good. But on the third, um, my, uh, how do you say, junior? Yeah, yeah. Junior is coming. I, I have to compete with the junior, juniors. And sometimes I cannot play, sometimes I can play like this. When I, when I got the fourth year, I just give up to the, I just give up to be football player because um, I thought I, I cannot be a professional football player. So it was a very hard time, hard moment for me. Uh, that's why I went to uh, Vancouver for a working holiday visa to be expand my dream, you know, after study abroad. I come back from Vancouver to university and then one more year I need to do football. Then I joined the team again. Yes, and then we went to a national tournament again. But at the end we, we lose, we lost. So that's the, my career of the uni, university student. And what is your job after that? Or what is your decision to go to the Canada? I mean, this, this is not, not a photo? Uh, this is not Canada, it's uh, in Japan. In Japan? I, I, Canada is also, I was working, but uh, actually I was working at the company in Japan, like uh, four years. I was working for the, like a jewelry company. It's, I was working in for four years. So, actually, I haven't played football like four years a lot. But um, in my, like from of my bo uh, bottom of my heart, maybe uh, always asking myself, why don't you play football more? Why don't you try it again, you know, this is uh, my life, you know, like this. That's why I, first, I give up the football players. And uh, I went to the company for a job. After four years, I got realized this is not my life. I want to try it again for become the football players. Okay. Mm. For the next you after that, you have uh, learned in J League Academy. If I did wrong, right? Yes, I tried to like a trial. Ah, it's a trial. It was trial. I, yes, there is trial. I thought uh, it can be a big opportunity to be football player again and also quit the job, you know. So why not? I I just try. And then actually, I passed the tryout. I joined the J3 team. Oh, J League. J League, yeah. on the third division. But uh, in the in the in, at the end, they not accept to me to join the team. So, you know what? This is the after I quit in job. So. It's more heartbreaking. Yes, you know. But uh, I don't. I decide I never give up. You know. That's why I went to Australia to be to start my career. What made you there to make a decision to go to Australia, and why why you choose the Australia for the, your football first football career? Yes, because the my I I try out on the J three J third J league third division. Uh, the coach of the team he. He suggested me to go Australia to start the uh, career. And um, yes, I, I, I just, you know, need something which is I can try, I can challenge, you know, because I lose everything, you know, at yeah. the moment. So 
That's why I went to the Australia. It's like a semi-professional. Yes, it's not uh, amateur, but uh, still semi-professional. So, not a mm, not a big team, you know. How, how long you already in Australia? Actually, I've been there half years, like six months, uh, because the the season was gone because of COVID. Ah, yeah. Yes, that's why I couldn't play. Even I went to the Australia, I just come back to Japan after six months. Yes. So this is your professional first professional football yes. career. Maybe you're joining St. Andrew in Malta. How did you start and go to the Malta? And maybe you can tell me about our uh, your football yes. career on there. After, after Australia, it's totally stacking. My life is stacking. So it's also a hard moment for me. As I say, I never give up, you know. I still looking for the country which is I can play, you know, as a professional. And then I was asking my friends, friends, and they told me maybe Malta is good for you to be professional and also to improve your career and promotion as well. So I just decide directly and I just go uh, to get a tryout in Malta. Yes, so I got the team after three days. After three days? Yes, I, I start tryout, then three days they contact, uh, they contact me. You have a contract like this, so I just finally start professional career in Malta. Mm, it's the the debut match is very important for me. N never forget that moment. But uh, actually, I was dreaming professional career start with the, a lot of supporters yeah. and a um, big environment, you know. And if I compare with this, it's quite uh, different, you know. My expecting and uh, Leo is the always different, you know. That's why I'm trying to be hard to get the expectation. Yes, so my debut in Malta is important, but uh, disappoint as well. First season, I just joined the uh, after half season. Yeah, so it's not much. I think uh, two goal. And you more increase for the level of your football. You scored seven goals if I didn't get wrong. Yeah, yeah. So how how is your second season in the Malta? Yeah, it was was good uh, because the my career start first division in Malta, not the Premier League. But the second second season, I got the promotion uh, personally. So the Premier League in Malta, it's quite a physical, strong physical. They need a strong, strong physical. So I got a personal promotion. And I was so much motivation, motivated to go like strong, you know. Then I made the season quite good. Uh, I scored maybe seven goals. And some of the assist, maybe six or five. Yeah, it was a, a good, good. Okay, season. your impressive uh, performance make you go to have a requirement from PSS, right? Mm. Uh, so we move to your Indonesian career. Yep. YouTube. Actually, I didn't know the PSS, but uh, one of my agent told me uh, PSS. It's a, a good team, like a big family. So I was very curious about this because I want to be the part of the team, which is like a family, you know, strong connection. So I was interested in PSS. Yes, mostly the reason is the uh, like a big team. I mean, I mean not like a, a big supporters. Uh, and a big connection and a good 
um, it's like a big family. That's the most important for me. This is your first season in Indonesia, and this is your first time maybe mm -hmm. to go to Indonesia. What is Indonesia for you? Maybe for the first time you just seeing. Yeah, first of all, I I like weather, you know. Um, it's hot, but not too much, you know. And also the people, they try to like a best, you know, every time. Good hospitality. Uh, very friendly. I like it here a lot. Yeah, as I told you, everyone is so nice and uh, not too much busy, you know. Sometimes chill, sometimes the, uh, a good city, you know. Very convenient. So I like this lemon. Uh, uh, what is the difference that Indonesia and Japanese? Mm -hmm. Like a more general. More general. More general. Uh, what is the difference uh, that you, okay, when you go to Indonesia and you more shop? Because it's not ah, okay. And soft, soft. Okay, okay. If I say okay, so I was shocking in the first day in Indonesia. The traffic is a lot. Even the, they drive crazy, you know. Sometimes <laughs> in a motor motorcycle. Four people in the motorcycle. I've never seen in Japan. <laughs> I was shocking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the traffic is the m m most different for me. I think. Ah, uh, another different is the the taste of the food. Uh, they say a little spicy. Actually, for me, it's uh, a lot of spicy. You know, too much spicy. So. Even in Japan, there's a lot of the spicy food, but uh, not that much, you know. I was surprised the taste different. Did you find any difficulty to you at first to adapt to the football in Indonesia? Uh, yes, sometimes yes, because the, here in Indonesia, football like a very quick, you know, counter, counter. So, of course, in the physically, I need to feed, but also I need to get used to the environment. Also weather and the gloss. For me, it's quite hard to adapting uh, the gloss for now. Uh, but you just scored two goals, but uh, what do you think about your performance until uh, the four match with the PSS? So at least I got uh, two goals, but um, I don't... Uh, I don't satisfied with this because we know we could be go much better. So every day we try to be harder, harder, you know, be a stronger. Like this, this is my what I'm feeling, you know. Mm. How Indonesian football going well? But uh, who is the person that uh, helped you to uh, get a good adaptation in the, in the team? Maybe for the players or the coach. Who, who who is the person? I think the players, for example, Captain Kim. Kim helped me a lot, even in the private and even football. Sometimes quite difficult to make a com communication with the local players, but uh, he speaks both of language, so he helps a lot. Maybe you can tell us about your favorite anime and what is your. Maybe you can tell us about your favorite part of the anime. Yes, um, I must say One Piece is the best. <laughs> One Piece is the best anime in the world, I think. Uh, because the, the main character Luffy, main character Luffy is the always the ambitious, you know? Yeah and uh, never give up and he he protect the mate whatever whatever no matter they do you know do you remember luffy luffy punched the tendu vito ah yeah, yeah. tendu vito is the i don't know how in to the, say in, in shabondi. yeah in the shabondi yeah shabondi island then he punched the the guy who is the very gorgeous guy uh, yeah, that moment I was shaking, you know, because he did it for the friends. 
For the mermaid, right? Yeah. Our videographer said that Naruto is more ambitious. Yes, Naruto is the... Uh, yes, same. <laughs> Naruto, I, it, this is a very difficult question, you know? <laughs> actually, yeah, I like the Naruto also. Both of them are best, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the same answer, right? <laughs> okay, okay, but one piece is better. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we move to your... Uh, style like you know you have a unique style in Indonesian football. Yeah. You, you have a unique hairstyle too, mm. and you often change your hair color. Why did you? Maybe you can tell us about why did you do that. And yeah. Uh, uh, what what is your purpose to them? Because you have a more. Ah uh, yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can tell us. <laughs> yeah. Um. I actually my personality. Is uh, always wanna be uh, uh, outstanding. No, outstanding. Yeah, uh, my personality is always be outstanding. You know, so I just wanna make a different from the others. So it's quite my identity. So yeah, that's why. Uh, that's uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> what is the reason? <laughs> Try to, uh, you know, the hair. Ah, okay, for the hair. Away, away to the hair. But I want to keep this hair, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so maybe someone say, I cut your hair, something like this. But uh, I don't want to, you know. This is my style. R N N Azza. So he asked about, uh, what is your favorite food in Indonesia? Favorite food. Favorite food. My favorite food is the satay. Yeah. Uh, saya suka sate, okay. sate kambi. Okay. Yeah. With the lamb, right? Yeah. What is your first time to see our supporters BTS have a choreographer? What, and and did you have a comfortable to in Indonesia in Sleman? Yes, it's. What is your feeling to see? It's in. I was in touch, you know. They 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 make a big surprise for me in a very good way and. It makes us very comfortable to play football, you know, and then that's very help to the results, you know. We move to next question. We, uh, it's from Vidyat Mojo. He asks about what is your favorite position in football? Is that left wing or right wing? Um, or attacking <laughs> at the moment, I like to play on the left winger, but. Um, I like uh, also attacking midfielder and I can do a light wing as well. It's from uh, Bagus Prasetyo. So he asked about uh, is, where, where is your region in Japan? Where is your live in Japan region? Uh, okay, I was born in Aichi, it, which is Nagoya. And um, I was living in Tokyo. Muhammad Fitra. He asked about why why that you always more ambitious in the every match that you play? Ah, uh, sorry again. More, more ambitious, like you never, never tired too hard. Never tired? Yeah. I do tired. More. more. <laughs> 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 no, no, you look like uh, more ambitious. Yes. You're playing. Because the in the base of the professional is at least to be ambitious all the time you know and then play good or bad but just the base we have to do it you know as a professional and that's what i'm thinking mite kurete arigato ne pss no podcast pss sleman are okay